So the Super Turbo X, it's been available with CO2 for a long time, yes. but now it's also available with fiber. Yes. Super Turbo X is our historical model. Mazak start laser business in early 1980 with the Super Turbo X CO2. And uh, uh, we follow the strong demand from our customer in Europe to have uh, the fiber version. So now it's available. It's a premier uh, exhibit in the world. And our CO2 customer can easily replace existing machine with the fiber technology, which gives more efficient and better cutting speed. Particularly to customers who use automation system, they can keep exactly the same footprint, just change machine unit inside of uh, the system. And I know you've sold lots of these, maybe hundreds or even thousands around the world. Well, I think around the world we have more than 4,000 STX CO2. We hope to change to fiber, all of them. <laughs> but if I want improved finish and that's critical and I need CO2, can I still buy CO2? You can still buy CO2. And uh, normally STX model is different from other Mazak models because of accuracy. We use ball screw drive in this machine. The X and Y axis are separated and uh, the accuracy is very high. It's like machine center accuracy. But this machine is very much appreciated for high accuracy and some sector require this with fiber technology. That's the purpose of, our, of this one, STX fiber. So for the viewers at home, maybe someone's new to this technology, can you just quickly tell them the difference between the CO2 machine and the fiber? Well, the difference between uh, CO2 and the fiber technology is the resonator, how is it built. CO2 resonator is what we call gas laser, that is gas mixture, and uh, we have a cross dis um, electrical discharge inside and we generate laser beam. In case of fiber, we call solid state laser. There is no gas inside. There is a fiber cable with the mineral element to be the active element for generate the laser beam. This is in terms of construction. In terms of uh, um, result, the fiber has a 10 times less wavelength than uh, uh, CO2. So CO2 is 10 micron, fiber is around one micron. We have a much higher uh, absorption by material and much, much higher density uh, of energy then we can cut faster than CO2. And also in terms of efficiency, normally uh, fiber resonator has a three times less absorption of electricity compared with the CO2. And do you think there's still a place for both machines? There's still a place for CO2 even though you've just released the fiber? I think uh, CO2 reduces a lot demand from customer. Mainly customer ask CO2 if they need a better cutting surface than fiber. Or otherwise it's a fiber request anyway. And what control do we have on this machine? In this machine we have a preview tree control. So the we talk about preview G but this is only for the DL model. And I noticed for such a large machine it's got quite a small footprint, is that correct? Yes, correct. Even we have a large cutting area, 3 meter by 1.5. Due, uh, because of machine construction, we have a small footprint which became very more and more important in the, in the market. So the machine footprint is 7 meter by 2.5, which is the smaller in the market, I believe, with this working area. So what's the range like? Okay, the range of uh, a Super Turbo X fiber is uh, 30 15, so 3 meter by 1.5 for the cutting area, or uh, 2.5 meter by 1 meter 25. So the model is 24 to 12. In terms of power, we have a 2 kilowatt fiber and 3 kilowatt fiber. And your machines are efficient, aren't they? Of course, all Mazda machines are very efficient. <laughs>